What is up YouTube? Frosta Hobbit in here and today I'm back with another reaction video for all of you and this and we are back with some more death battle reactions and this death battle oh man it's been a while since we had death battle I, I, I do miss it and I'm glad it's back and we had the behind the scenes of death battle and this one is James Bond versus John Wick I am familiar with both of these episodes both of these characters and their series Although I know James Bond a lot more, and I am familiar with John Wick and his series because I have seen his movies. So this is going to be a fun battle. Both of these guys are dangerous in their own right. Both have experience in what they do. It, and, both, and, and you do not want to cross any of these two. Alrighty. If you haven't checked out the original episode, I'll put the link in the description down below. So go check it out for yourself and then come back and see my reaction. It's, it's been a while since we've seen Death Battle, and I know many of you want to know, when is your reaction going to come up? It comes out when it's out. I've been busy. Uh, you know, I, I can't rust, you can't rust these things. Good things come when, when they arrive. Anywho, without further ado, let's get on to reaction in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, we are here. Like I said, I am going to be, I'm going to be pausing. Like I said, I'm going to be pausing the video, so that and be talking over it for copyright due to copyright issues. James Bond, the world famous secret agent 007. They're using the the current one right now. Hey, this this they're using the current version of James Bond. John Wick, the legendary hitman who did the impossible. Yep. Whether they fly solo or operate on behalf of the government, the world is filled with professional killers of all shapes and sizes. That is true. But which one of cinema's super assassins is packing parabellum, and which one will live to die another day? He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, armor and, and skill to find, to find out, out who would win a death, death battle. battle. Let's do this. James Bond first. From the shores of Crab Key to the crap stables of Casino Royale. From Russia with love to Moonraker at the edge of outer space. No man has saved the world more times than Bond. James Bond. He's the OG action hero. The slickest Scott there ever was. The that is true. The warrior of the swinging 60s. Ah, uh, good times. After a climbing... Alright, I see his, I see his info. Uh, let's see. Um, he is six feet tall. Wow, he weighs 167 pounds. That's impressive. He is 42 years old. Royal Navy Commander Trademark Martini. The Trademark Martini, the Vester. I wouldn't try Martinis. I don't drink that stuff. Favorite Taylor, Silver Ro Sylvia Rowe. Based on Hogan Car Hogan Karma. I, I can't pronounce that. Yikes. It's been a while for me. Lack of des discretish and strain of steel. Okay. I guess that's it. It's hard to pronounce that. Being accident in the French Alps took his parents. The young James studied abroad and graduated to the Ministry of Defense just in time for World War II. Oh. He rose through the ranks. There's a comic really book about a this. Got it. The Royal Navy. And when you find the thing you're good at, in his case, wanting murder, never do it for free. Oh so wow. After the war, James that was insane. On that was, uh, that death was insane. He put something inside that man's mouth. Find the thing you're good at. In his case, wanting murder, never do it And he free. exploded. So, after the war, James decided on Her Majesty's Secret Service. And Though it was popular fan theory, James Bond is not a code name. His partner, his partner, his parents are Andrew and Marcia Disrupt Bond. And each bond from Corny is Burleson in the same name. Okay. Became I'm, a special agent of MI6. I'm sorry if I'm yarning. I'm tired. I'm doing this late at night. Two state-sanctioned assassinations. With this baptism in blood, Bond was granted the legendary double O status and a license to kill with. That's the face that I, that I grew up with when I first heard of James Bond. This guy. I forgot the name of the actor. It's been a while. It. It's been a while, so yeah. Impunity. As the premier defender of the West, Agent 007 is a jack of all trades. We had many faces. And, and terrorist ass. 
and basically everyone's asked for the Pretty past much. 60 years. Pretty From much. The novels, <laughs> to the movies, to the comics and games, he's been The video games. I, I always lose in the video games. Bond. Bond is a Mostly because I didn't know what to do. That crocodile disguise was, was hilarious. While, while the Daniel Courage era of Bond films follow their continuity separate from the previous films, Bond himself is so is not so different a character that he cannot be Acrobatics, driving, diving. Skiing, Doesn't matter who the actor is. Climbing, it, horseback riding, it's still the same Bond. Airplane pilot, swordsman, knife fighter, God knife darn it. thrower, people thrower, it's people thrower. Of all, gamer. <laughs> Here is his classic Walter PPK, among the world's first successful double-action semi-automatic pistols. While it only carries nine rounds, its small size makes it optimal for concealment. And a microdermal Good sensor in the grip coated to Bond's fingerprint means only he can fire it. It even comes with unique ammo that breaks apart upon entry and creates eight exit wounds, traveling like a bullet but hitting like a shotgun. Wow. It's actually deadly considering Bond has the golden eye of an expert marksman, able to take out a room of armed guards in a single second or shoot the Yes, he does. I have seen him do some crazy things a in the movies. Of a mile away. <laughs> He's just as James Bond is no joke, people. Bond combines multiple martial arts like judo, boxing, Krav Maga, Muay Thai, and Jiu Jitsu, allowing him to nice. keep up even when outnumbered. This mix of styles is Impressive. likely the Welsh self-defense system known as Kushinkwai, which is taught by the modern Special Air Service. Though that all pales in comparison to his greatest ability. Banging, laying down pipes. So <laughs> yeah, uh, James Bond. Uh, yeah, he has a way of with the la he has a way of getting the ladies to fall in love with him. He has a way with the ladies proficient at seduction it actually feels more like a superpower look we're not kidding he once seduced a female assassin sent to kill him so thoroughly i don't she blame threw you threw herself in front of the bullet meant for him she knew him for less than two minutes yeah, yeah sometimes bond does stuff i can only describe as superhero shit look at this so why not pretty much that impulse and give him some superhero when it comes to too? action spies well, i think of james bond quartermaster q Bond spy gadget that guy Q his knack for problem solving and quick thinking Q makes some very creative gadgets that really helped out James Bond over the years or, or agent 007 this guy I, the gadget seems ordinary but this is where action movies when it comes to spy movies they get the ideas some of them get their ideas from James Bond He's got a pen that'll explode after three clicks and disarm after a fourth, an Omega Seamaster watch that can shoot a laser beam, a cigarette that fires a miniature rocket, yep. and C4 toothpaste that can be remotely detonated. Probably a safer bet than that pen, especially if you're a compulsive clicker like me. Wait, was I on three or four? You were past four. He also occasionally wears a lightweight bulletproof vest, as well as a garrote wire for quiet kills and a grappling hook hidden within his belt buckle. That's only the semi-normal shit. He's carried earbuds that give him super hearing, x-ray shades, wow. ultrasonic coupling grenades, a stun gas keychain, a cell phone taser, exploding remote controlled drones, a nano suit that turns him completely that invisible, is... and a freaking jetpack. This guy is more this guy is more prepared than Batman. This guy that's how that's how that's how prepared James Bond is. He got more gadgets than Batman can, can think of. You gotta have Even a the most ridiculous ones. Thunderballs to piss off a crazy Scott riding one of those. But his greatest weapon is the one, the only. His dick, the Aston Martin <laughs> DB5. Oh, I thought we were still talking about him. Never mind. This, this car, that car is very runs. powerful. She's packing front-mounted machine guns, oil slicks, smoke screens, and of course the ejector seat. Oh, and good luck trying to break in. This baby is insanely bulletproof. Yes, it is. Just look at this. It won't stop. Still going. Wish my car had that Still kind of security. Going. Q has provided numerous vehicles over the years with ever more insane features, like a submarine transformation, light bending holograms, and a remote I remember control that. built into Bond's phone. God, just look at him, living his best life. And why wouldn't he? He's a globe-trotting ladies' man with the UK Treasury as his personal credit card. He's he is got the chilling. world in the palm of his hand. But for some, the world is not enough. 
Though really Though considerations may vary, one thing remains throughout. Behind that debonair smile and British wit is a broken, soulless shell. Oh. A man only good for killing. I guess it's no oh yeah, I forgot about his darker side. 70 cigarettes a day and routinely drinks enough to enter a coma might have a death wish. Now, James Pretty much. I mean, yeah, this man smokes a lot and he drinks a lot. It, it, it's crazy. James wasn't always like this. Not long after getting his double O, he found love and loved so much Aww. he left the Secret Service behind. But there are some lives you can't escape and some lives you can't save. No oh. matter how hard you try, yeah. sometimes all that's left is to kill the love inside you until all that matters is revenge. There's no denying Bond's psychopathic tendencies. Yeah, that is true. Of enemy combatants over his career and might just enjoy the act of torture. But yes, he does. He, but he, he you do not want to cross this man. Afterward. All that hate and regret wrapped up into one man with nothing to live for. The perfect assassin for a dying empire. Uh, Bond is strong. That was one of the most gruesome deaths. That that little grinder that James Bond pushed his enemies in is one of the most brutal deaths he has ever done to somebody. Oh man, James Bond has killed a lot of people in his in his series, and they're mostly terror. Good thing they're mostly terrorists and evil organizations. Overcome the lot, Murray, with the power of love. Stole a skydiver's parachute mid-drop. Often knocks out henchmen with one punch. Crushes a man's skull with a back with a flip-flop. Uh, dodges, dodges a Solex gallant Galanter laser beam. Survived a 13 GS without passing out. Tortured in North Korea for 14 months. Defeated Lee Train, Ray Grant, Crimson, and Safin. Long enough to hold his own against superhuman henchmen like Oddjob and Jaws, who can yes. take a van off the ground. He survived being blasted by a stick. Um, Upjaw, Upjaw, the guy with the hat, the the, cl the classic guy with the bladed hat. Oh man, that guy, that was popular. Finger missile falling hundreds of feet into a river and having his egg scramble. Oh. At his best, he's even fast enough. Yeah, he they yeah they uh they tortured this man. James Bond was completely naked. They uh attacked his uh crotch area in the newer films, and he survived that torture and killed the guy who tortured him. That that I would never survive that. Enough to dodge gunfire nearly point blank and missiles while in free fall. And still shoot people. This is the superhero. This is the video games. About. Time and time the video games. Outsmarted criminal master. The video games are Dr. canon. No, Goldfinger and Scaramanga, the man with the golden gun. He's even the man with the golden gun. In the games, it is stated that whoever has the golden gun, it's a one-hit kill with the special bullet. It is a one-hit kill. One shot, and you automatically get killed by this, and you're automatically dead. It's one of the most powerful handguns, and I don't know what James Bond did with this weapon. I think he got rid of it or destroyed it. I'm not sure. Can someone tell me what he did with the golden gun? The golden gun. He's even bested the worst of them all. His arch nemesis, the international terrorist, Blofeld. Blofeld. This guy is the iconic... Is the iconic level of a of a super spy villain that has been copied multiple times. If you ever super, if you ever thought, if you ever think of spy villains with their cat who has their pet cat on the on a uh, chair, this guy's the inspiration of it. Multiple spy films have tried to copy this guy. In two different timelines, no less. And yep. Plot twist in the second. Blofeld was Bond's bum 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 long lost adopted brother. Oh. Which, if I recall correctly, also happened in Austin Powers. Yes, it has happened. The old Austin Stone, Powers so is funny. Who else could escape a giant space laser by kite surfing on a tsunami? I remember what that one with my when I watched the movies with my father. He's got the best job in the business. Me and my dad and used to love to watch better. these movies. Get out of my fucking timeline! You ever just screw up, like, really badly? Like, make the worst mistake ever? So bad, you're just f for the rest of your life? Wow. Yes. 
Wow, that's uh, that's, that's one way of describing it. But uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know nothing about that. I made some dumb decisions in my childhood, and I wish I regret. That I wish I regret not do- making, but I managed to overcome those, and it's their long loss in the memories. But yeah, I would never screw up like this. Uh, let's lay out a hypothetical. You see a car that you like, but its owner won't sell. So, you follow him home, beat him senseless, steal his car, and kill his dog. The dog oh. his beloved wife gifted him after she died very recently. So yeah, oh. pretty big mistake. Big and mistake man, indeed. Well, he just happens to be the single deadliest assassin in the entire world. Yep. He may be called Baba Yaga, but he's not the Baba Boogeyman. Yaga. He's the one you sent to kill the goddamn boogeyman, John Wick. So yeah, that's one thing. Do not want to mess with this man. The full story of this specter is almost non-existent, but rumor has it he was trained by the Ruska Roma crime syndicate. Do not want to mess with him. Age before moving to America and making a name for himself in its criminal underworld. Full name: John Jonathan Wick. J- Jordan. Yeah. It's hard to pronounce these. Sometimes these names are weird. These names are weird. But hey, I'm learning a lot here. Uh, he is six feet tall. Birthplace, Bilius. Raised by Riska Roma. Sigma male. Alias, Baba Yaga, the devil, the legendary hitman. Terrifying enough to scare the living daylights out of even the most hardened murderers. Wick is a master martial artist, combining several schools into an all-purpose fighting style that focuses on maximum efficiency with minimal effort. Almost no one who has fought him directly has lived to tell the tale. So which specific? Yeah, that, that's a that's that's a big reputation for yourself. So why don't we look at the martial arts used to prepare for the movies by everyone's favorite immortal, Keanu Reeves. Reeves combines sambo, akido, and Brazilian jiu-jitsu for defensive joint locks, throws, and wrestling moves to avoid as much damage to himself as possible while using his opponent's own weight against them. Good to know. It is specific. It is speculated that Wick was a former member of the United States Marine Corps. Given the Fortress Fronta, the Fortress Frontana Andreas tattoo on his back. Okay, he's he, training from the Marine Corps is also very helpful. Shows because it, it, those guys do not play. Though his go-to is Krav Maga, which is designed to take all the best moves from various martial arts to make the ultimate fighting style. While most martial arts are Krav designed Maga for other purposes, is a good mind, fighting like style. Exercise, Krav Maga's entire goal is basically murder. Killing people. And boy, if that isn't killing right people. To a D. In his hands, literally anything can be a deadly weapon. Knives, swords, books, his belt. Shit, his belt. Three guys with a pencil. A God two darn, pencil. this guy is and unkillable. To John's precise understanding of the human body, he can target weak points and vital organs with ease. The, the way he killed people, the way he killed people with a pencil and a belt brings a whole new meaning to a butt whooping. But, thanks to the Continental, he doesn't have to rely on writing utensils to execute his victims. Imagine a chain of hotels around the world that serve as a front for a whole underground society of assassins. He can consult the wine steward's robust selection. Pistols, revolvers, submachine guns, assault rifles, shotgun, plastic explosives, it's all on the menu. Though Wick prefers his Heckler & Coke P30L, a polymer-framed semi-automatic handgun that holds 15 Pack rounds of 9 by 19 Parabellum. When nice. she wields like an artist does, a paintbrush. Wick can empty entire rooms full of enemies before they can blink. Hey, look how he casually he just shoots these guys. In only three seconds. My He's gosh. He's the definition of accurate, almost never missing a shot, and that includes on horseback and motorcycle back. That is He's difficult to do. He's got a to a kill. You can bet he's taken it. Andy. Yeah, if he sees the opportunity to kill you, yeah, he's, t- yeah, Boomstick is right. He is taking that moment. Comes literally dressed to kill with his perfectly tailored, tactically lined suit jacket that is completely bulletproof. Even repeated gunshots from close range do nothing to him. Is there a chance I can get those kind of suits? They're, those seems very helpful. 
It also helps him blend into the shadows for some sick stealth kills, and even disappear in plain sight like the goddamn Batman. Wick eventually joined the Tarasov mob yep. and quickly became one of their top enforcers, a grim reaper who hunted their enemies with divine prejudice. But maybe this ain't you still pushing that pin? Why? Why do you have that pin? Wick wanted out of the mob to get married to the love of his life and retire. Wow, I wonder how that first date conversation went. Man, she must have really fallen for him. I guess he put the ass in Assassin. So his boss gave him an impossible task. Why are you Could pushing that pin? He wiped out every last one of the mob's enemies in a single night. Which he did. Because human or no, he's still John Wick. <laughs> and he lived happily ever after. Well, until his former boss is not no son screwed up, like really badly. Yes. Up the on, you never miss. That wasn't just some dog, but a semblance of hope, the opportunity to grieve unalone, his last tether to a happy life. So Wick was back with a vengeance. Yeah, the, to kill every the, last the, the man, the guy screwed up badly. Until the whole of New York's criminal underworld had been raised by his bloody crusade. Over the course of the three movies, which span only about two weeks, Wick left over 300 bodies in his wake. Three hundred. That is a lot. is like seeing the sky fall. You're going to die. There's yes. no escape. He survived being stabbed, rammed by cars, shot in the stomach, blown up, mutilated, and knocked off of a 10-story building. Holy crap, this guy is, this guy is unkillable. Oh my gosh. He got his revenge for his dog, cut off his own finger with minimal sign of pain, with minimal signs of pain, performed surgery on himself, expert in several forms of martial arts, survived getting shot and falling off of a central hotel. Of the conventional hotel defeated Miss Perkins, Virgo, Coulson, and Aranus and Zero. All within a fortnight. Oh, and somewhere in there he found the energy to trek through the Saharan desert. And it's what? not like his injuries from the previous movie had time to heal. Or the ones from There's the no movie way before. anyone can walk through the desert with that enough. outfit. John Wick is unstoppable. Yes. He's strong enough to toss around full grown men. Snap bone and body slam two assassins through a bulletproof glass floor. Wick absolutely annihilated floor. his former Tarasov employers, the Neapolitan crime family, Kimura, and fended off an international army of assassins attacking him at random, one after the other, God every few dang. minutes. Even after being declared excommunicado by the Continental, bereft of his former resources, he killed every last soldier sent after him by the high table. Wow. Barely a quantum of solace to rest. Like we said, completely unstoppable. Outgunned, outmanned, it doesn't matter. John Wick lost everything in the world that meant anything to him. And that means he won't stop killing until there's no one left or he dies trying. And good freaking luck with that. Yeah. And your name is? I'm Thor. You're Thor? Well, it hurts. Once again, this whole broadcast has been brought to you by Sam. It's everywhere. Get used to it. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. It's no time to die for a death battle! All right, let's do this. I'm not sure who's going to win this. I'm uh, going by experience and years. I'm going with Jane. I'm going with James Bond. I am going with James Bond on this cuz uh I know James Bond a lot more and I am even though I am familiar with John Wick, I grew up with James Bond cuz uh hey, history. He's not one to be taken lightly. Be You're right about that. Seven. And happy hunting. You know, you could have used the model from Fortnite. There is a John Wick model in Fortnite. Your concern is always touching, Q. Vodka martini. Shaken, not stirred. Of course. Shaken, not stirred. That's how he liked his martinis. Uh, although the anime... They're going with the modern take of James Bond. I'm alright with that. What can I get you, mate? Drinks are on me. I prefer to be alone. Unfortunately, I wasn't asking Baba Yaga. Now you can come with me, or we can do this here. All right, Chilling let's do this. permitted on company grounds. Lucky me. Okay. Off the bat, and they both shoot each other. 
Knowing that they're both, uh... <laughs> both have bulletproof ability. What the? Seems you've got me at a disadvantage. You won't mind giving a dead man walking one last smoke? What really? That... You know what I like about James Bond? He is so calm and, and ca he is so calm in these type of situations. I like I like that. My six want with me. Your reputation precedes you. That is I'll true. be sure to keep up. No, you won't. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, the missile launcher coming out of a cigarette. Um, uh, see what he, he might win this. I think James Bond is going to win this because of the crazy gadgets. He has more gadgets than John Wick. Impressive. Impressive. Yikes. That laser watch. Watch out for the pencil. Oh, that's the pin. Oh no, how many clicks was that? I lost count. To be entirely honest, I lost count. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Oh no. He better. Both of them are giving it their all. The car. He noticed the remote. Crap. Oh, we got us up a stage hazard. This is really. Can I just take a moment? This is really good animation. I really love this. The models look pretty good. Whoever worked on this animation did a great job. I'm not sure if it was Devil Artemis who did this because he mo he does most of the three he did some of the three D model three D work, but whoever did this is doing a great job. Duck! You might want to duck. That car is a stage hazard. Oh crap! Yikes! Okay, bulletproof suit. The classic scene. I love that. I love it a lot. They reenact the classic 007 shoot through the shoot through the uh, glass eye and the blood coming through. That's a fatal wound. Oh. He powers through that. That's impressive. What comes around goes around, as they say. Oh. Okay. Makes him trip over. Yeah. Wow. Is he? You survived. I was right. 007 wins. Maybe. Come in. What's the mission status? Smashing. Positively smashing. <laughs> oh, you'll grow up, 007. I was right! KO! I never thought Wick could lose, but I guess I'll never say never again. Though his skills and brutal tenacity would have made <laughs> Wick initially against James Bond, you only live twice. You mean once, right? I know what I said. Uh, uh, well, yeah, despite yeah. all that, Wick met his match in Agent 007. Yes, he did. Both of these two, both of these guys were very skilled in what they do. Seeing these guys put together is interesting. And Death Battle, thank you for act for having this fight, having this fight available. And match is the optimal word here. Wick may have been an expert martial artist, but let's see. Let's see the pros and cons. Uh, James Bond. He has faster reflexes and superior aim. Will. Will there vary will the variancy on his opponents clever and a pro he's clever and a problem solver his 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 disadvantages not as specialized as an assassin John Wick John Wick he has higher pain tolerance and stamina 
more coverage from body armor, but his disadvantages, he's slower reaction speed and cannot easily counter the gadgets. That makes sense. Bond has actually practiced several of the same styles Wick has and has been shown to be just as skilled a fighter, even defeating master martial artists himself. Wick's yeah, their fighting styles are basically even. ...ability to shatter a floor of bulletproof glass definitely makes him superhumanly strong, but Bond has fought off similarly powerful henchmen in the past. That is true. And while Wick's speed and accuracy with a gun may look unbeatable, Bond's is just as impressive. He's landed accurate shots just as well as Wick ever has, but more importantly, he has a faster quick draw. That's right. Despite being played by Neo himself, Wick has never dodged bullets. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Um... Oh, yeah, the voice, the actor who plays John Wick did play Neo in the Matrix. And yes, he does, he, Neo does dodge bullets. That classic dodging scene that then reenact from Matrix 1. You know what I'm talking about. Bond, on the other hand, has. And that superior speed gave him an edge in both close quarters. Though they are likely outliners, Bond has dodged electricity from Gallus Graves from Golden Eye 007. Reloaded, as well as laser beams from the man with the golden gun and Moonraker. Combat and on the draw. Though since both had body armor, the fight probably wasn't going to be won by guns alone. True. That's where Bond held his biggest advantage: his gadgets. Yes, yeah, true. There was no the way gadgets. Wick would see an exploding pen or a laser watch coming. Bond's X-ray, night vision, and echolocation gadgets would have shut down John Wick's attempts at stealth. While the neo suit, while the nano suit would have endured, would have ensured he stay hidden for himself. And that's the whole point of Bond's gadgets. They're seemingly normal, everyday objects that'll take his enemy by surprise. Given time, Bond has always used these to come up with game-winning strategies. That is true. against numerically superior foes, especially with his more absurd technology like the invisible nano suit and remote. The remote control drones and the nano suit is advanced. I it's true. The Austin Martin is an invocation of all of Wick's weapons, and there are nothing stopping Bond from turtling in turtling inside it. Wick's Mustang Mustang could not compete with the firearm. Controlled explosive drones. Wick's endurance might be mind blowing, but he isn't invincible. He can keep that fighting is true. even on death's door. But the deadliness of Bond's trick weapons would not have given him that option. Diamonds are forever, but against someone just as skilled with an arsenal straight out of science fiction, Wick's luck that definitely is true. wasn't. Bond may have been the spy who loved me, but against Wick, he was going to live and let die. And you can bet tomorrow never dies. Nailed it! Look, I just had to put the last that? few movies in, okay? Oh, wait, shit! I forgot about Octopussy! Oh, crap! <laughs> <laughs> well, the winner is Bond. <clears throat> James, James Bond. Congratulations, James Bond. Hey, if you want more superior ASAP, spy. why not grab a membership? You'll get exclusive <laughs> notes, badges, live chat, live streams, and a bunch of behind-the-scenes stuff. All right. Just click that join button. Thanks for watching. All right, who's next? Who's... Oh, Black Adam versus Apocalypse. All right. Got it. Well, James Bond wins. Uh, that that was a good battle. I really enjoyed this one. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reaction Leave a video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. What were your thoughts on this death battle? Did you enjoy it? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, take care. Have a great day. Be safe. And most importantly, stay frosty and stay healthy out there. Catch you on later and make sure to wash your hands. And I look forward to the next death battle, Black Adam vs. Apocalypse. DC vs. Marvel. Take care, guys. Also, a special thank you for all the members of my Patreon. Special shout out. You know who you are. There's a list right here. I'll, uh, some, some of you are members of the Patreon. Some of you are not are just following. But to those who are members of the Patreon, you know who you are. I want to say thank you guys for all of your support. And to the newer one, to the newest member, Odd Eyes Masters 12, thank you for being a member of my Patreon. You're the newest, you're the current newest one right now so far. I want to say thank you guys. You guys are the best. Take care. And I look forward to the next video reacting with you guys. My daughter tells me you're a man who's good with his hands, Ratchet. Sir, I, I swear I never.